How's it going everyone? Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about what to do before bed to wake up skinny. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate um, the support. It helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. So this is a question I got from a subscriber. I thought I would answer it to the best of my ability. Um, so to wake up skinny, what can you do before bed? Um, your body will naturally um, gain and lose weight. It doesn't really gain or lose weight. What it does is it has weight fluctuations throughout the day. Um, normally you are at your lowest weight in the morning and you're at your highest weight at night. The reason being is because um, at night you've consumed two, three, 4,000 calories for the day. So you're naturally going to be heavier. When you wake up in the morning, a lot of those calories are already burnt and you've probably um, peed already. So you lose some weight from pee as well. So um, what to do before bed to wake up skinny? Just track your calories. If you're tracking your calories and you're going to bed every single night in a calorie deficit, every single day you wake up, you're going to be a little bit skinnier every single day. And that's how long-term weight loss happens. You just eat in a caloric deficit and you will keep losing weight. <clears throat> now, if you just want to wake up a little bit skinnier, then you can actually um, control your water weight, which is super simple. I, I never recommend manipulating water. I mean, it is possible, but I don't recommend doing it. That can be dangerous. So just keep drinking the same amount of water that you're doing, but you can manipulate your carbohydrate intake and your sodium intake. Now, sodium intake, you have to be careful too because if you drop your sodium to too low of levels, um, again, this can have some issues with your body as well. So I always recommend 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day, which is the average amount of sodium that you are supposed to consume per day according to doctors. So 2,300, some people do consume as low as 1,500 milligrams, but that's usually due to high blood pressure. And you should only do that after getting the okay with your doctor. So again, try to get 2,300 milligrams. The reason why I say 2,300 milligrams is because the average American, average Canadian, consumes up to 3,500 to 4,000 milligrams of sodium per day. This has to do with the Western diet. Um, our diet in Canada and America is terrible, completely terrible. All processed foods, a lot of takeout, a lot of fast food, a lot of restaurants, not good at all. So by lowering your sodium, you can drop quite a bit of weight actually. The last thing, and this is the one that will have the biggest effect on you, controlling your carbohydrate intake. Our bodies naturally do not need carbohydrates to live. Um, we need protein, we need fat. Without protein, without fat, we would um, not make it, but carbohydrates you don't actually need. I do recommend them though, because that's where you get your fiber, that's where you get a lot of your vitamins and your minerals from. But um, if you go from a normal diet, which is around 350, 400 grams of carbohydrates, and you drop that to 50 to 100 grams of carbohydrates, within two to three days, you'll drop like 10 pounds pretty easily. Um, so yeah, that's that's what you can do to wake up skinny, um, controlling your carbohydrate intake. Um, but if you wanna do it long-term, then I recommend being in a caloric deficit. End of video, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.